Uh, thanks for joining us again to talk about the PDU. Today I specifically want to talk about uh, charging the unit, uh, the options that you have for charging the unit and also the ranges of fridges and accessories that will work properly with the unit. Because with fridges for example, as you may or may not know, fridges will have range of operational voltages. The fridge I'm using here is a 60 litre fridge just for the demonstration here um, and that will use between 10.5 and 13.6 volts to operate. If I drop the PDU below uh, that voltage, okay, the fridge won't work. It's not a fault with the PDU, it's just that this is the range the fridge can operate. Angles and Wacos, very, very similar. Angles typically will operate between 10 and 13.6 volt. Uh, Wacos can operate around the same. They have low, medium and high. Uh, you can switch between those. You have to make sure you look at the settings um, and then I believe the Wacos can go down to even 9 volt. The point of that is it's not to drain uh, the battery completely and that's the idea of the smart fridges. So it's just something to be aware of. It's not a fault with the PDU. Look at the fridge ranges. A lot of people don't look at it. They say, well, the uh, PDU is not, not firing up the fridge. It's not the, it's not the PDU unit. It's actually the range that the fridge can operate at. Let's talk about charging the unit. We've been asked a number of times of the different ranges that you can charge it with. Okay, we have regulated and unregulated. What I've done here at the moment, I've got the fridge plugged in and it's operating just to show you what it's doing. It's under load at the moment, pulling 4.92 amp. I do have a solar panel charging at the moment. It's only a small one like this. This is a 36 volt maximum that it'll put out, but it'll still only put out a couple amp. The maximum charge input that you can put into this unit is 10 amp. Not 30 or 40, not a, not a BC DC charger or DC DC charger at 40 or 50 amp. No, it's 10 amp. So what I've got here is I've got a solar panel on the front that's going to the unit. It is actually putting power into the unit, but the unit's diverting the power to the fridge because obviously the amount of amp coming into the unit is not as high as the fridge is drawing. So for an example, I've got an angle connection here. Normally I run the 2.1 little jack to run it, but for the sake of the exercise, it's running an angle. So if I pull the angle out, and stop the fridge from working, you'll see the charge light come on. Okay, so now it's charging because there's absolutely no load. The other thing that I can do is I can take my SIGA socket, because it's now, this is regulated, I can plug my unregulated solar in the front, I can put my regulated input to the car, like so, and that's gonna give a little bit more power. You have to remember though that if a car like this it doesn't turn the accessories off at the back. So if you leave it plugged in, it's going to keep on drawing power unless you've got some mechanism to stop it from drawing the battery down. So again, just make sure you turn the vehicle off or check what your SIGA socket's putting out. So this realistically, because it's a dull day, it's only, putting, it's only actually it's charging at probably, or I'd say probably two or three amp right at this very minute. Okay, so now it's actually undercharged. If I plug in the fridge again, okay, it'll take a second to fire up. And while it's doing that, what I wanted to show is this unit over here that's very undercharged. It's actually at 9.09 volt. It's going to drop down very shortly and start flashing. But what I've got is here is a uh, LED strip, which I can plug in. Just to show you how bright the actual LED bar still can go at 9.07. It's still pulling what, 0 0.23 to 0.24 amp. So even at a, a very low charge PDU, these are both 60 amp units. Okay, they're still going to power your lighting at a very, very low amperage. The other thing to remember is this fridge here will run a 60 litre fridge on a 60 amp hour PDU. It will give me 40 hours before charging. So if you just want to run a 40 litre angle or a small fridge and a couple of lights for the weekend, a 60 amp hour PDU is about what you need. You don't need to have an overkill like this. You can see the size of this unit here. Um, it's also empty, so it'll draw a fair amount. So empty, this will only pull, say, give me 40 hours on the 60 amp hour PDU. So now what you'll see is that the light here has just jumped off, okay, because the unit's pulled now close to six amps. So 5.6, 5.4, 5.49, okay, it's under load. So I do have a regulated charge going on and I do have an unregulated charge on. The other thing that I might choose to do if I'm at home, and this is getting a little ridiculous, but it can do it, is I'll take my AC DC charger here, then this is a 5 amp, so I put a 5 amp uh, charger, AC DC charger onto it um, and I've still got the unregulated connected as well. So that unregulated is probably only putting in because it's just gone overcast, might only be putting in a half to 1 amp, um, this here is going to put in just on 5 amp, so close to 6, but I'd say at the moment because the charge light's not on that the fridge is still drawing too much amperage because this goes up to six to seven amp uh, on occasion 
So again, if I choose to pull the load off, okay, the charge light comes on. Now, if I wanted to disconnect the unregulated, like so, okay, I've disconnected the unregulated, the regulator is still charging. Okay, so yes, you can run your fridge while you're charging. I will charge now again by the unregulated as well as the regulated. Again, I'm making sure that there's no more than 10 amp going in, okay? So at this point in time, um, again, it's going to be running the fridge. If I plug it in, that light's going to go on and off, okay? So some people think that maybe there's a fault with the unit. Not a fault with the unit. So again, about fridges and ranges and voltages. Check your fridge to make sure what its operating range is. Make sure you fully charge the PDU before you go out. Don't go out with a PDU charged at about 10.5 volt, probably half less than half full. The point is fully charge it, run your fridge on it, check the ranges of your fridge. Also make sure your fridges are cold when they go when you actually go out. Okay? Or when you're at home, if you want to fire the fridge up, put it onto a solar panel or your ACDC charger and then fire the fridge up, get it cold before you go out. That's just to get the most out of not only your fridge, but also the PDU. So again, I hope that answers a lot of questions about the charging of the unit. Again, maximum 10 amp charge. Okay, you can charge by regulated, which is coming from your SIGA socket. For example, the car, you don't require to have a, big, uh, a direct connection between the, the battery. So I've got a SIGA socket plugged in here, doing a couple of amp, and then I've got unregulated solar panel sitting on the bonnet there, putting in the charge. Okay, and then I can, yes, put a, char uh, put a load on, I can put the fridge in, and it will fire the fridge up, the little light will go off, because it's gonna divert the power to the fridge. Okay, hopefully that answers most of the questions we've got in the last couple of weeks about the charging options of the unit. So again, I'm sure you have some more questions, and we'll come back to you again soon. Thanks for your time.